love going back to times when before I was born. I know I just, I know I just aged myself, but seriously, looking back at this is really, really entertaining. Yeah. So let's take you a little bit further back. After the Huskies knocked off Yale for the first time ever in 1965, it took the Huskies another four years to beat the Bulldogs. Now, as the years went on, despite winning a conference championship in 1971, UConn still had trouble with its rivals to the south. So let's go to 1973 through the eyes of one of UConn's finest players. Back in those days, beating Yale was a big deal because they were a fine team, had good athletes, were well coached. It was always fun to go down to the Yale Bowl and to get your victory there senior year. Uh, it's, it's a good memory. This is Rich Foy, one of the best players in UConn football history. The two-time All-American had already tasted success as a sophomore, and leading into his senior year, Foy said that preseason camp set the tone early. It was very hot that uh, those first two weeks into the 90s, high humidity, so it was a difficult uh, camp just physically, and I think it helped us come together. The Huskies started the 1973 season with one win and one loss leading into their matchup with Yale, but public sentiment didn't exactly favor UConn. We thought we had a good team, uh, but the press uh, was giving us no chance. Uh, some had us 30 points, uh, 30 point underdog. When all was said and done, the Huskies prevailed 27 to 13, and everyone across Connecticut was singing a different tune. The state was excited. The governor went into the locker room after the game. <laughs> I didn't get back for that. I was just enjoying the walk back to the locker room. <laughs> Now, UConn would go on to win their second conference title in three years, thanks in large part to that faithful game on September 29th. Now, the Huskies will try to come out on the right side of that rivalry this Saturday. Ben, Jen, back.